Hello everyone. Hope you must doing well. So in this video we are going to make the those two remaining models. Okay. So for that uh, before starting with that we need to organize so we can name it as a collection one under which the main 3D icon is there. Okay and we are going to create a new collection but before that one thing if you are selected with this one and then you are going to create a new collection then the new collection will come under this collection okay so that's why i'm selecting this one then i'm creating a new collection then it is coming under the scene collection okay then there is a collection too okay so we are going to make it as a active by clicking on it so by this effect whatever object we are going to add that will be under will come under this collection okay so for now we can hide this one okay so that we can have the more space to model this the mushroom and this tree okay so there is option of take you can make it okay you can by clicking you can hide that and the rest of option will get automatically hide okay so uh, the mushroom we are going to build so for that uh, again there are various ways to model anything in 3d but uh, the way which i am going to do uh, shift a screen cast okay To bring this you needed to press N in your keyboard okay right over here okay so we needed to bring a cylinder okay for this bottom one stem okay can we can scale it down right if you want to on the cavity you can okay not a big issue not a big deal even so we added a cylinder for this white part so for now we can hide this cylinder and uh, the next thing we are going to bring a uv sphere okay and uh, the segment we want you can hit to 16 also the results may vary little bit but not it is not going to affect the end product because at at the end we are going to apply the subdivision modifier okay so if you are decreasing the topology count by 32 okay by default it is set to 32 so we can proceed with the segment of 32 okay all right so to get this shape what we needed we needed i needed to explain you with our, our new tool that is this one okay this one is proportional editing okay it is also written over here you can read that okay so there are various option and the option which i am going to use the smooth one which is set to by default okay and there are also various options there you can explore all those okay but for now i'm going to choose this one okay so the shortcut key to on this you can press o in your keyboard o for orange all right so you can switch on and off that uh, option okay so you needed to go into the edit mode okay and you needed to click either you can have a vertex selected or you can select a entire face okay in the front mode and we are going to press you can use the help of the move tool okay or you can simply use your keyboard okay so we are going to on this option and it is set to smooth okay also we are going to on the x-ray mode okay 
so G and uh, let's rotate or move it into the Z direction okay so what it is happening you can see it is moving all the vertices which is coming under the circle which circle I'm talking the circle which is uh, I needed to select okay when you press G G in your keyboard you are having one circle over there okay so that in that circle what happens uh, whatever vertex or the face or the edge whatever come under that area that will be affected by the rotation location or the scale okay hope you got my point so control z and again i am going to proceed with the same process and uh, let's make it uh, we can smooth it we can add multi resolution modifier okay I don't want this reference to cover the lot of area so that's why I'm keeping it there and if you still want to make it a bit inside you can or to uh, the circle which is coming by pressing the G that circle influence you can control by dragging your middle mouse wheel okay so you can control that also and you can have this okay And we got the shape all right so the thing which we added the the cylinder which we added that is in the center which is very small okay so let's increase the size of the cylinder I need to switch off the this option then we can switch increase the size of that cylinder only Front view we are have and uh, we can move like this again we are going to make it smooth okay and it is behaving some odd behavior the mesh area you can go to this property which I told you before also the normal auto smooth okay and uh, we can increase bit yeah if you want you can decrease the size also if you want but for now we can keep this make it bit inside yeah so uh, one uh, another thing if you want uh, uh, this shape to be a little bit wider also so you can do that also so i'm just telling that so uh, whenever you will let's we have a different uh, example okay so we are having a cube okay so whenever you are going to scale it is going to scale in all the direction in which direction the x y and the z okay but uh, what if we if uh, i only want to scale in the y and x direction i don't want to scale the object in the z direction then what option or what thing we should use so for that uh, the same thing you needed to do you can press s in your keyboard and another thing you needed to do is the axis which you want that your object should not move or scale or rotate in that direction then you can for example here i want to remove the z axis okay then i need to press shift z okay then we are having only the y axis and the x axis now if i'm going to scale now you can see 
we having only the scale in these two direction okay and if i press control z if i scale directly we are having the scale in all the or all three direction okay so for this mushroom uh, we can scale but i don't want to scale in the z direction okay so you can press uh, you can have the scale by having a key s and shift z and you can increase it okay it is looking more good but if not you can uh, should also not have that but i think it is matching the most that's why i did that okay okay so we model this part then we can hide this also okay we are having a empty viewport so we again we are going to have another collection and we are going to make it active by selecting it and the another thing which we want to make the this one okay that tree we are going to make so for that what i should bring again you need to shift a mesh then uh, probably we should work with there is option of cone which are probably are looking the same shape which we are going to uh, make but the issue with the cone is we don't having uh, that much of control i don't know why it is happening for example i want to add a loop okay the edge loop by pressing ctrl r i don't have that of i don't know why it is happening okay also uh all the edges okay are are collecting over here okay so that is also a very big disadvantage of it and even here also we don't have the uh good amount of topology Okay, here we have a good amount of topology okay we are having a uh, lots of faces over here but here we are only having a one face okay for example if we are going to add a uh, for example subdivision modify then you can see how it is behaving okay so that's why i don't like to add this one i tried but uh, I don't think it will make the result so for that I needed to bring a cylinder okay and under the cylinder you needed to select nothing okay by this effect it is empty okay by default it is okay uh, it is close from both top and bottom side when you are having nothing it is open okay so if you are not connect, uh, connected that here you can also do that here by pressing in the edit mode you are having face selected x then you are having a different option to delete i want to delete a face then we are going to click on the face okay again this one also so I'm telling every aspect so that if you are having any difficulty in anything you can uh, overcut that easily that's why you are watching my videos <laughs> Fine. Uh, for this shape on the top we are going to model that first so simply you are going to uh, select all the edges by hovering hovering a mouse over a edge and uh, holding a control okay you are going to select okay and uh, you can uh, also explore different selecting method over here select similar okay select all by trait select more or less the shortcut key is also written over here select loop select linked okay so you can explore all these options okay so now i'm in a front mode and i am going to scale it down okay like this 
and the this hole which we are having we can fill it okay we are going to do it later also but the challenge uh, the challenging part is the bottom one okay so for that the same method we are going to follow like in the second one the shape which we given here like this the same shape we are going to make here but there is difference if you are thinking that uh, it is a cone why didn't you add it a direct cone so let me explain you again also we are going to select both okay if you are going to press ctrl r right it is having a edge loop okay and if you are going to press ctrl r here it does not having adding a new edge loop okay so i don't know why this cone is behaving like that that's why i bring the cylinder and on the top i did this okay hope you got my point we can uh, delete that edge for now you can press ctrl x okay that is a shortcut key to delete the edge and if you are selected with the vertex still you can press ctrl x you can delete the vertex okay but the delete word is not that much accurate you can use the word dissolve okay dissolve the edge or vertex you can press ctrl x okay so again in this area what we are going to do uh, we are going to press e we can extrude it in a z direction we are going to scale it let's see how it is working a subdivision modifier okay. let's add more I'm making the shape manually, no issue. Yeah. Should I smooth it? Also increase the subdivision. Let's dissolve it. Then see how it is making the shape. Now we are having a right shape. Okay. You can press S and Z. You can scale the shape. Okay. In this way and for this a uh, what we can do we can fill it okay so there are various options to filling we can press F in your keyboard by this effect you can fill the area but the issue is uh, if you are going to observe the topology over here uh, it is covered with different faces okay but uh, the issue is here it is having only one face okay so the topology is very less but if you don't having any odd mess issue then it is all right okay then we can proceed with it okay now uh, let's on this okay it is behaving like that yeah so hope you got my point why it is behaving like that okay so it is a bottom one we don't going to see in the render but let's come in the top view okay in the top view, view if you are going to select the whole edge and F in our keyboard by filling the whole space then we are going to add then you can see so before that I needed to uh, add a edge loop okay you can press ctrl r you can have different edge loops yeah so let's on the subdivision okay so why this effect is coming this effect is coming because you can see okay we are having a large amount of topology over here okay right in these areas we are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
okay uh, we are having on the other side also okay but the issue is uh, the face which we added by pressing f that is only having a one face okay so that is the issue so we don't want that okay so the bottom one which we added that is going to be on a bottom side so that is not visible that much in the render but for the top view we needed to do something okay so again in the edit mode okay we are going to delete this face okay so the thing which we are going to follow uh, we going to press F3 in our keyboard. Okay, then we are having an option of grid fill. Okay, there is two options: the grid and the grid fill. Okay, if you are going to having the grid, it is uh, going to uh, provide a base grid. Okay, so we don't want that. If you are going to have the option of grid fill which is having a shortcut control f okay so you can click on it then you can see there are different segment okay and even the topology is also there okay you can increase or decrease the topology by clicking over here by default it is set to 6 so we can proceed with it no issue let me show the process again okay it it is set to 8 okay now if i if i'm going to go into the edit mode okay then we can see we don't having uh, that effect okay so the hard edge which it is having that is also there also but if you want to remove that also so for that you needed to bevel this one all the edges okay so for that you needed to do if you do, uh, didn't fill the space okay then even you can proceed with it okay or if you want okay let's see is it is going to work in a right way or not because the count is also matter okay that's why i'm assuming if it is going to work then it's fine no issue okay i having a control b by this effect we can bevel okay i al already told you and if it is work yeah it is working it is having now thus more a hard curve which is very natural and even okay okay fine so for this bottom one if you want you can add the grid fill okay so you can see the effect okay again you can if you want to bevel the whole edge you can bevel it okay so that you you are having the smooth edge seam okay uh, the next thing which we are going to do is to duplicate it okay so for that we are going to select this one shift d in our keyboard then it is duplicated on the same place then you are going to press g and going to move in a z direction okay but for now i should use this okay you can also move like this also okay but uh, i am just showing it okay again shift d and you can move you can either move by this or you can g and z okay I should on the wireframe 
so that I can see. The size, okay. I'm holding the shift, okay. So we are having the better control. So another thing which I would like to tell you, let's bring all those on the top, okay. On the grid. But the thing which I notice, uh, the mushroom, uh, it is having a base stem, okay. But the tree didn't have. So we should add that, okay. Not a big issue. Okay, for that, uh again cylinder move into our right location we can increase the scale it is by default at the center okay why it is at the center because the cursor is at the center okay see the cursor okay the, this icon you are seeing in the second okay that is in the center so that's why uh, the object whatever we are adding that is under the center okay in the center okay we can have this so regarding the size you can scale accordingly okay so let's bring all these okay let's drag it into this collection Okay, name it and uh, you can right click and select object. So it will select the all the entire object under the collection. So we can move in a X direction. Okay, let's move in negative X direction. Okay, then we will uh, have a mushroom okay so we can scale that let's move yeah okay and the first thing which we already done with can name it okay then we can right click and select you can directly select by this okay but uh, if it came under the selection of other object then probably it will select the other object also okay we are going to scale it okay with the same size uh, but before that let's bring the cursor at the center okay then we are going to scale the origin also okay the origin of all the object origin to 3d cursor not all the object okay no, fine i think we didn't apply the mirror modifier Yes, we didn't apply it. There are no issues with it. Ah, we can have the size of this. Okay, so we're done with the shape and uh, it is looking more nicer. We can also on the cavity. Okay, or viewport, we can turn it complete black. Okay, it is uh, all showing in the wireframe mode. You can disable that also, but uh, I will keep wireframe mode. And uh, we did with and uh, in another videos it is for now and in the next videos uh, what we are going to do we are going to 
uh, prepare a different material and we are going to prepare a scene and we are going to make a uh, different lights okay and uh, we'll render the image and the image quality probably we will make in 4k okay so you can have this okay we are having different qualities the resolution 4k 2k hd and full hd so in next videos we are going to render it out okay so this is for now and again if any suggestion if you want to give you can give in the comment section and if you like it do like the videos and uh, if you find it helpful you can show the love in a comment section and uh, bye bye